hey y'all welcome back to the van show your girl is dressed okay we are about to go outside all right outside called i'm gonna answer you see i got my little piece of contacts in child honey you cannot tell me anything all right got the brows on let's get into the eyeshadow okay and I already prepped my skin but i'm gonna go ahead and use this one size until dawn setting spray just to further set my base so hold on She pretty much all gone honestly so let's get into the eyeshadow in my mind i wanted to do a colorful look but i didn't know what i was wearing now that i have on what i'm wearing i kind of want to do like something kind of chill you know but we're gonna see what happens let me show you all this eyeshadow palette i just got in the mail today it's not new it's just new to me it's right here from blend bunny it's called the blends palette let me show you what it's giving check that out it's all matte no shimmer that's oh, okay i got their brushes and um, what's i haven't used them yet what's unique about them is that they're like color coded so for people who are learning just like myself about eyeshadow and blending and stuff like that they help you like with placement so like this brush right here this is for the darker color and then let's see this brush right here is like for the second darker color third darker color and then we get into the lighter darker the lighter darker colors <laughs> we get into the lighter brushes so it kind of shows you like what type of color to use for the type of brush that you're using so i'm excited to use these i think it's a really interesting concept um it's like for people who you know been doing makeup for forever they already know what brush to grab but for people like myself you know we're just trying to figure things out as we go so let's go ahead and get into it maybe i'll start with this purple here we'll do like a purple and maybe a pink or something like that so let me i'm going to try to use the brush so i'm going to start off with this brush right here i'm going to use the darkest color which is going to be this purple so these palettes don't have a mirror, but I'm okay with that, especially for the size of the palette. So let me just grab the mirror here. If you made it to this point in the video, comment blends at the bottom, B-L-E-N-D-Z, okay? That's how I know, you know what I'm saying? Y'all paying attention or not? So let's get into it. And one thing about these eyeshadows is that, honey, they are so pigmented. So my eyeshadow primer is creased, as y'all can see. I'm just gonna pat that out. All right. Y'all see that purple? Pat the perch. Now I'm gonna use the same brush and go into that pink. I'm gonna use the, like, the, ooh. Oop. all right so now next order of business i'm gonna take like one of the flesh tone colors or like a color that's close to my skin tone i'm gonna use this one right here with the fluffy brush the lightest color brush and i'm gonna set this area up here like the brow bone area with some of that darker purple and just start blending it into the pink like that. Just a few use the edges, y'all see that? Let me get a little close. All right, you guys, everything is blended to my liking. So now let's get into the color that's gonna be in the, um, in this space right here. Kinda like, do we go crazy or do we, you know, go crazy? So let's go, we're gonna use this color here called Barley. I'm gonna use that color. I'm just gonna pack it on. And then what I'm gonna do is just put like some really like some loose shimmer over top of that. That crease. Let me go ahead and get some concealer so I can carve that out just a little bit more. All right, now I'm just gonna cover that with that orange. So it'll really be, 
Okay, you guys, the crease has been cut, honey. So let's go ahead and add the other colors back in on the edges. So I'm gonna go back into that very first purple that we use, that deep purple. Okay, boom, I found something in my, it's called a Rick and Morty, <laughs> Rick and Morty, I did not the camera try, okay. The Rick and Morty palette from Glam Light. These got all, all the colors, you hear me? So I'm gonna use this color right here on top of the orange. I like the way that's looking. Then what I'm gonna do is go into one of these purple shimmer shades in this palette and put that on a bike like that. This is one's from Essence, not my favorite. I gotta find my Sephora one, that's my actual favorite. What we're gonna do is take a, some black eyeshadow. I'm gonna take it straight from the Rick and Morty palette. This is sitting on top. And you're just gonna pack it on top of the liner. And I'm gonna use my Lancome today. So I just put a little right there. Got some foundations I'm trying to get rid of. That is one of them. So I put it on my brush, which I'll see right here. I'm just gonna outline the top. Put the rest of it on my face. Y'all said I was picking at my face. Don't look at that. I was being bad. I was being terrible, actually. Terrible. Got my sponge right here. Now I'm going to get my concealer. I'm going to do a bright concealer today, but we are going to tone it down. Have no fear. Using my Tarte Shape Tape in color medium sand. Then let me tell you the Lancome. The Lancome was color 500 SUEW. Excuse me. Then I'm going to take this concealer from Dosu Colors. Let me show y'all that. She is right here. This is a little lot closer to my skin tone. This color is 28 deep. And I'm just going to put it out here. Now, before we blend that out, I'm going to take my brush that we used to outline, uh, outline the brows. And I have a little foundation right here. I think that's foundation. And we're going to kind of carve out the shape of the eyes. I did it a little rounded this time. We're just going to clean it up a little bit. Yeah, that's definitely the foundation. I'm just gonna clean it up around here. Just round it off a little bit. All right, next order of business. Let's go ahead and blend it on out. All right, so we got that blended out. What I'm gonna do now is get into a blush. I have this color called Freaky Peach, and I ordered Attention Seeker, that's the hot pink, um, and the one size, what they call? I don't even wanna tell y'all what they call. Try in the, in, the, in the one size cream blush and highlighter <laughs> packet. So this is what that looks like. I'm gonna use that color today. I thought I had orange. I was looking at an orange um, cream blush. That's on my list of things to get. I'm gonna go in the cream blush, the cream part right here. 
this is going to tone this concealer down a little bit. I'm going to use this concealer right here from e.l.f. And this is a little more yellow. And if I go over my, my, my mirror, I'm just going to put a little bit right there. So that's going to give it a nice color. And then I'm going to set it. I'm going to use this powder right here. The brand is called Palladio. Palladio? It's rice powder. I like it. I really do like it to set my... I'm just taking it out here. Ooh. I got my um, powder puff or whatever. Now, was I a little, a little heavy-handed? Yes. What I do is use the powder here to set it down. All right, now it's time to warm up the face. I'm gonna use the bronzer that I used the last time that I've been loving is the Be Perfect um, Bronzer in Fahrenheit. Or it's Fahrenheit Bronzer, but the color is called Blaze. All right, so I'm gonna use my powder foundation from Urban Decay. Color is 70WY, and I'm gonna set the foundation. So we're gonna lighten everything back up. All right, y'all. So I'm gonna put the finish and touches on this look. We'll be right back. Ready, ready or not outside, here I come. Get into the, get it. Y'all better get into this grown woman weight, baby, because <laughs> she ain't going to where she is stay at this point. Anyway, you guys, get into the final look. Loving it, feeling it, everything in between. My girl says she is on the way, honey. So I see y'all when we get outside. Thanks again for tuning in to the van show. But stay on the line because I got a little piece of vlog after this, all right? See y'all a little bit. Bye.